Hello, welcome to BISPtraining.com. My name is Sumit, and here I'm with my new video in ClickSense Advanced Development. And the topic for today's video is how to integrate ClickSense with Salesforce using REST API. This video might be feel interesting. It seems interesting to those people, those who are looking for various integration of Salesforce with different BI tools. So in my previous video, I have integrated Salesforce with Tableau. We have done another video with ClickSense where we have integrated ClickSense with Salesforce using inbuilt connectors. But in most of the cases, we might use to receive the REST API URL from our Salesforce client. And I would like to use those URL or the URL provided by the client to integrate Salesforce with ClickSense. In order to test this functionality, you should have your Salesforce developers account and a ClickSense desktop tool, which is installed on your machine and one advanced REST client extension, which would be added with Chrome. So let's begin. So very first thing we are going to do do is we would be going to, to uh, let's talk about the requirement first. So my requirement is I would like to visualize the opportunity data with using ClickSense. So as you can see, I have got a Salesforce account and also I have got one ClickSense desktop hub. And here I'm going to create a new app and that app we are going to connect with our Salesforce using REST API. So when I click on create a new app, I'll give name as test rest app, create, open app. I click on add data. So in my previous video where I have integrated ClickSense with Salesforce, there was there I used this inbuilt connectors available with ClickSense. But now I'm going to use use rest api connector so this rest api's connector is not confined to salesforce this rest api connector can be used with any of your web portal or any of your website where you have uh, rest url pro generated so in rest when I click on rest connectors we need to give a name and we need a url so this url will be provided by your salesforce developers you will receive this URL from your Salesforce developers. And by putting that URL, by providing the that URL and a couple of more information, we would be able to successfully extract the data out of Salesforce into our ClickSense desktop hub. So very first thing we need to do is, so let's assume that being a Salesforce developer guy, how you are going to generate a REST API URL, which you are going to provide to your ClickSense developer team so that they can connect with uh, your ClickSense and Salesforce using REST API. So very first thing you need to do is click on setup and switch to create and you need to create a connected app. So I've already created a connected app and when you create this connected app, this app you need to create and you need to select enable oath setting. So to know more about this, how to create a connected app and how to give oath setting, how to give permissions and all, please go through my previous video, my existing videos. So I click on this connected app. App is created. You can see it, it provides a consumer key and consumer secret. So what I'm doing, I copy this consumer key and consumer secret. But how we are going to use this consumer key and consumer secret to generate the URL which we can pass to our ClickSense developer team. Or dev. So what I have done, I have created a notepad and in that notepad, I just write a URL, https login.salesforce.com slash service slash oath to slash token question mark grant type password. And so whatever client ID you have, that client ID you have to paste it over here. So this client ID, you need to copy and paste it, provide it along with client ID. Then it requires your client secret. So this will be your client secret. 
your Salesforce credential, username, and password. And remember one thing, uh, when you are using Salesforce, you need to provide the password along with your security token. So those who are familiar with Salesforce, they, are, they might know that security token is required whenever we try to access the Salesforce data out of Salesforce environment. So this is the security token. I copy this URL and now my objective is to test this connectivity and generate a JSON which will respond us the access token and ID, uh, access ID and instance URL. And for this, I would be using an app called Advanced REST Client ARC. And in this ARC, uh, I'm going to test this. So I'll just use post method and then I pass this URL. And when you pass this URL after successfully connectivity, it will uh, provide the JSON response. So I copy this response and paste it over here. So that's the response you receive. And this is same, so I have formatted this, so let me remove this. And here, uh, we are we used to get access token is this instance you is https colon double slash apa dot salesforce.com id is this token type is bearer issued at and signature so these informations are required when we wanted to test the connectivity between salesforce and so test this and in order to test it i i uh, so what i have done i just write a url and that's my url uh, service data 45 and here i'm going to write that you i'm going to test this url and for this a simple use uh, uh, just remove this thing you can expand it and do it by ourselves also and i just write https and uh, 45.0 select name comma contact so instead of contact i want to read value from name comma amount from opportunity that's the apa.salesforce.com that's the instance url services slash data version 45.0 now uh, in order to test the connectivity we need to add a authorization header name so i add a, author, a header name as authorization and bearer and this is this string so this string is your access token so i copy paste this access token over here and let's test it when i test it you see i'm receiving uh, i got a 200 and okay message it means the connectivity has been done successfully total size is 31 so there are total 31 records for me for opportunity so let me go and test it are there really 31 records or more than that so yes there are 31 records so what i'm doing i just switch to my arc and i copy this url the complete url which we pass here so i copy this url so, so let me copy this url and this cop this url we are going to provide to our say click sense developer team and that url they are going to provide here this query they can change by themselves timeout is 32 auto detection response use windows authorization authentication yes pagination no here we are not going to pass any parameters but query header is required and query header is authorization i use authorization value with be the same value we used here so i copy this and paste it so these informations you are going to provide so you have to provide two informations to your uh, clicksense developer team number one the access token instance url and token type so these three information you just provide and using these three information the clicksense developer they can connect with our your sales force uh, account salesforce account and they can extract the data out of it so i'll just give name as test rest api test sales force rest api and click on next and when i click on next it will 
try to connect to our Salesforce. And once it is connected successfully, it will move to next screen. And make sure there would be no special special characters available. Uh, there should be no special characters in your password in your Salesforce password. Otherwise, it won't get connected. And uh, I'll just expand this. I got records, and in records, I'm extracting name and amount. What I'm doing, uh, let me get back and let me add one more column and the URL. So select name, comma, amount, comma, stage, name, next. Timeout is 30. So after 30 seconds, the connectivity will be broken and it will break the connectivity. So that we need to increase the value. So I select records. Key records and key routes, I'm not interested, so I check these two values. Include HTTP response header if you want, if I check this option, so it will uh, add a response header also, but I'm interested in records only. So I'll just select the records and check key values and all, and click on load data and finish. So now, like this way, we can, we can connect to our Salesforce account and pull data from there into ClickSense. We build a connectivity between ClickSense and Salesforce using REST API. And we are ready to data. So I can quickly create a bar chart which would be showing me the opportunity amount by stage name. So I switch, select stage name as dimension and amount as major, sum of amount. And you can see. I've got close loss, close one, and so on. And uh, in, if you wanted to apply filters and appearance, that can be done. So that's the way we can quickly connect to our Salesforce account using REST API solution. So that's all in this video. I hope you found this video interesting and meaningful and useful. You can connect with us for customized training both on ClickSense as well as on Salesforce integration. We have we are expert in Click Salesforce integration. We have integrated Salesforce with a um, lot of different different tools. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.